folks, let's talk about potatoes and what they are. Um, I like it because it's a food and I like to eat. And I really like to combine my food terminology with my musical ideas. And that's what potatoes are. Potatoes simply refers to this musical element that we use to help kick off fiddle tunes, primarily fiddle tunes. And what they're going to do is they're going to tell us the timing and the tempo of the fiddle tune that we're about to play. And it mimics what you hear a fiddle do when they kick off fiddle tune. You can imagine the fiddle. So if we're going to be the one that kicks off the fiddle tune, folks around us that are playing with this, they need to know how fast this thing's going to go. And also, when do we come in? And that's what makes those potatoes so great. But... What also makes them great is if we have some variations. We don't want to just eat that plain old potato right out of the oven all the time. We want to put some butter on it, some cheddar cheese, some, what else y'all like on it? Some brisket, a little bit of pulled pork. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we can play our potatoes very basically where we think about them like in, in one measure chunks that we repeat over and over again. Something like this. <laughs> We could do that four times and then go right into a fiddle tune. Or we could create some variations there. We could throw some rolls into it and um, really spice them up, if, if you get what I mean. So, for instance, we might do one measure and then just go into a four roll. And then work into one more of those potatoes toward the end. And that's going to make our potato plan a lot more interesting. Another thing that we can do is we can delay when those slides happen. That's kind of fun. So instead of always doing that slide on the downbeat of the measure, on that first beat, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, we could play like a pinch on the first beat and then do the slide on the second beat. So one, two, three, four. And it just puts a little hitch in your giddy up there, but in a good way, right? So if you want to learn more about potatoes, I just taught a massive lesson. I actually have two lessons for potatoes over on the website. I have an intro to potatoes for people that are just learning how to play. And then we're going to dig into them in the intermediate section. And you can find those links around here somewhere, I'm sure. But you need to learn how to play those potatoes so that you can keep things spicy Tasting good, feeling good, and the folks that are you're playing with, they know how fast to play these fiddle tunes. They know when to come in, and you can have fun. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Hey, if you like this lesson, be sure and subscribe. Click that little bell so that you're notified when I put up these new videos. And if you join as a Gold Pick member at BanjoBenClark.com, you have access to hundreds of lessons where we cover everything. Go check that out. Adios.